Good afternoon, this is your humble host, Jamal Baraka for GT Media Reviews. I've been away for a few days, and despite the rumors floating around, I am not dead. Not that anyone would care, but here we are. Just me and you in this video. Today we're going to be doing another comic book review, and we're going to be focusing on an indie comic. This one is Psycho Co. number three of three from Alterna Comics. It's written by Rob Feldman. He also did the pencils. We have Peter Samedi, the publisher of Alterna Comics. He did the letters and the edits. This one has Brian Fram and Brendan Fram. They did the breakdowns. And we have Color Tunes 360. They did the backgrounds here. And the backgrounds of this comic are amazing. If, if you don't see anything else in this comic or check out anything else here, the backgrounds for this book really contrast the pencils to the point where it looks like you're looking at almost a real landscape in the background. Um, it's, a, it's a good book, and if there's one comic out there that you that should sell you on the idea of a return to newsprint for mainstream comics, it's probably uh, Psycho. This is a beautiful comic. It's all ages. It's innocent fun, but the most intriguing aspect of the series is the art direction. This book would feel right at home on the shelf next to a Hanna-Barbera comic or cartoon or as an animated series like Space Ghost Coast to Coast. The colors pop more than any other newsprint comic I've ever read and I have a lot of older comics that I'm going to go back and check out but really I can't recall anything um, that I read from Marvel back in the 90s being this bright or um, having this much effort put into it. Uh, the backgrounds are extremely detailed as I stated before and if you look at them, each panel, they almost feel like an animation cell. It offers a nice contrast with um, Psycho Co. Uh, if we don't get a line of Psycho action figures down the line, it'll be criminal. This character is so, has so much potential. He's hilarious, intentionally, unintentionally. He breaks the fourth wall, sort of like Deadpool. He's heroic. He has a bunch of tools like Batman, and then you see a bunch of costume designs. So I'm like, okay, this needs to be an action figure. So if, if Rob wants to crowdfund some action figures for this line of toys, I'm definitely there. Uh, he also has a nice mix of supporting characters uh, surrounding him, heroes and villains. And there's a lot of passion here. And there's a, there's a, simp there's a bunch of simple lines here, designs, uh, but they belie a high level of thought put into this concept. Rob clearly put a lot of energy into this. It's not a cheap cash grab or anything like that. And I can tell from just reading the two comics that I've read from this line that he has plans going forward. Uh, the story for this particular issue is pretty simple. Um, there's a character called the Devil Spider and he apparently killed Psycho's dad. Uh, he's reappeared and Psycho Co is ready for him. He has a weapon he threw together the day before and he goes on an epic quest to avenge his father. It's not really all that epic but it's pretty hilarious and there's a few twists and turns to keep you intrigued as to how this plays out. The ending is somewhat surprising and sets up a larger world for our character if Rob and Pete decide to go back and make other miniseries. Um, there aren't too many comic series in the all ages camp that are as fun as this one. So I'm reading Rainbow Bright and I'm reading, I would say Dick Tracy is almost all ages. And what makes this different from those series is that this actually feels like an all ages book. Like I can chuckle at it. I gave it gave the first these this issue in the prior one to my son. Uh, he liked it. And this book is a dollar fifty. So this one makes it a lot more appealing to me when I go pick up, go do my pull. I can go grab some comics, the one fifty book, I can give this to my kid, they like it, they come back and say, Hey, you got another one, you know, then I feel good about it because I'm not breaking the bank and my kids like them. Uh, doubling back to my original point, uh, this book highlights the absurdity of the comic book industry being locked at $3.99 and up for comic books. Uh, Alterna Comic represents an alternative, but more than any other series that I've read from this line, Psycho Co. really destroys the argument that newsprint can't be a viable option for a comic, for a quality comic book. And I'd say that mainly because when you have 
books that are four dollars and up and then you look at what you have here this book has some hell of a textures in it and I, I can't really um, just looking at I mean looking at these pictures that I'm posting really don't do the comic justice like if I compare this book in newsprint to a book that is not newsprint from like Marvel or DC there's really not much difference so it's hard to justify this book costing a dollar fifty versus a DC book right now costing four bucks if I have them side by side and I say which one is better you wouldn't be able to tell me the difference but you'll probably go with the dollar fifty book and I I can't really um, uh, really stray away from that. That is that's really a, a, probably the strongest point I can make about the value here. Uh, this is an amazing book to look at, and I'm not an expert on paper stock, but I'm not sure that switching the stock of the uh, paper would have made much of a difference in the art or quality of the book. And that will should tell you everything you need to know about what's wrong with the current state of the comic industry. My rating for comic for um, Psycho Co. number three of three, I gave this book an A plus. And that might seem kind of high to some people, but when I review a comic or book or magazine or trade paperback, I review each issue on its own. So I can give a composite score in the end if I read an entire series, or I can review a single issue. And for a single issue. I read it, I, I do my reviews based on what I have in front of me and if this was my first and only issue that I would read for the week. So while some series may be like, okay, well that's not Alan Moore, he did Watchmen, and which Watchmen would be an A series all the way across, there are some issues of Watchmen that I probably wouldn't have gave an A to, just to be honest. Because they have so much depth in one a single issue that if you that in a vacuum it's probably not all that great, but together as a whole, you have a higher score. So with that being said, uh, you can subscribe to my channel at GT Media Reviews. I post on YouTube and Facebook, or you can check out my uh, blog at GTMediaReviews.com. Uh, that has all of my written reviews, or you can catch me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook at Jamal is Trash. And I won't hold you up too much longer. I appreciate you stopping by and get back to your day and order some Psycho Co. or order some alternative comics. You can't go wrong with this line. Thanks. Have a great day.